one of the things that comes up all the time in these conversations is, you know, people ask about, well, how do you carry out the reduction that you talk about? Because as you guys know, the, the real uh, value, the, uh, you know, the key value that our product provides is, is reducing the, the, the footprint of traffic on the van between data centers. Um, uh, in this conversation, obviously, a lot of people have used other products in the past, slower products, different products, and they have some uh, you know, different understandings of how reduction works. So I just want to take a, you know, a little bit of your time and talk about the various ways of reducing traffic and how we do it. So I'll just talk about how we do it and, you know, and, and in, in that process talk to you about how others do it. So for a long time, people have been, have been uh, using something called compression to reduce data. Uh, also, you know, van traffic, storage traffic, what have you, but using this notion called compression. Compression is, you know, uh, uh, GZ, Z-line, what have you. People are familiar with these concepts, inflate, deflate, uh, you know, win Windows users know what WinZip is. Um, all these things are used to compress data. Uh, and people have successfully been using these technologies to compress data that travels, you know, traverses van links in, in the past. Uh, it's a very good technology, it works very well. Uh, uh, what it does is it works at a packet at a time. It has no notion of what came before it or after it. Um, so there are some limitations because of that fact, but compression in itself works very well. Uh, compression is a great solution, but it's not the only solution. Um, the, the, the core IP of Infinetta, as, as you know, is, is our deduplication algorithm, which is designed to look at uh, a large uh, you know, um, a, a time snapshot of data and find matches across that snapshot. Um, that's, that's our core IP, we spend a lot of time building that in hardware, which is why our box does what it does. And that is also important because it, you know, with that technology we can look at many, many other things. And there's one other piece of technology that we use as well. Um, the, 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 the way we kind of look at the, the deduplication uh, uh, slash reduction problem is, um, we should not be using one single approach to solve the problem. We should be using many different approaches because you know, not, no one single tool can solve all problems. You, know, you can't use a hammer to solve every problem. You can't you know, use a screwdriver to solve every problem. So we have, we have three different ways of doing this. So I talked about two of them. So let me list them on the board and then we just kind of walk through each one of them and talk about what each one of them does. So the first one is something called repeat byte suppression. So here's what it is. Um, in, in the replication world, um, you know, in, in many cases, customers are basically replicating um, uh, an array which is hosting, say, a large database. You know, this could be an ONTP database, it could be, you know, whatever database, or financial transactions, what have you. Uh, what happens with databases is, uh, all over the place, you tend to find uh, null strings. So there'll be a lot of zeros all over the place, or there'll be some other string which is repeating, every, some bytes that are repeating all over the place. So what, uh, what we built for that purpose, because we, we found that, you know, we, we, we saw a lot of these in, in the data that we have looked at in customer sites, uh, in hardware at, at line rate, what happens in our boxes as data comes in, if it sees any repeating str uh, bytes, a string of repeating bytes, it collapses them. And instead of sending the repeating byte, it just sends a reference which says, this is the byte, this is how many times it repeated, essentially. Of course, there's a, there's a lot more magic to that, but really what it, that's what it's trying to do. Uh, the value of that is right up front, you took out uh, you know, the repeating strings which, uh, which, uh, you know, which are getting in the way essentially for deduplication. So you get them out of the way, you write there, you, you know, in some cases you can reduce the footprint right there and then by 5 to 10%, which is, which is pretty significant, right? If, if all you're doing is let's say zeros or ones or Fs or what have you. Uh, so we do that first, that's number one. Number two is our, is our core IP which is deduplication. So that's, uh, you know, so what we call the velocity dedupe engine. This is, this is the trademark for the, for the core IP that Infinite has built. Uh, what, uh, what, what velocity dedupe engine, what this, what, what this, what this is, is, is uh, an implementation of a deduplication algorithm, which is a very unique deduplication algorithm in, in that it's different from the classic uh, chunking fingerprinting method that everybody else out there uses. It's, it's different from that and it's been implemented in hardware. So those two things combined, you know, allow it to run at 10 gig speeds at very low latencies, which is which is absolutely unique in the market. Nobody else does this. Uh, you know, uh, in our estimation, pretty much everybody else out there is at least two to three years away from, from reaching this goal, let alone anything higher than that. Uh, uh, Velocity dupe engine, uh, it, in, it not, not just the fact that it's obviously it's, it's a different algorithm and it runs in hardware, there's many things that we have designed into it which are different. Uh, 
which are which which uh, you know you know the, the storage replication guys will uh, will appreciate. Um, instead of working on large blocks as most data replication algorithm works, work um, you know instead of looking at 4K blocks or 1K blocks or even larger in some cases, uh, we'd go all the way down to eight byte chunks of data, which is unique. So uh, uh, just a just a, a note for 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 viewers. Be careful of vendors who talk about byte level matching. So there's a lot of van optimization companies out there and other companies that say, well, we do a byte by byte comparison of your data and we find anything that is nothing, something that it, only things that have changed our, our process, everything else goes as is. Not exactly true. Uh, I, would, I would encourage you to kind of drill down into that subject with uh, whoever's presenting this data to you. Uh, because in most cases, in the van optimization case, what happens is, you know, at, at reasonably high speeds, they're looking at a thousand byte chunks and they compare a thousand byte chunk to another thousand byte chunk. You change a single bit in the data that you're receiving in, in, new, in the new data being, being received, it's a different chunk. They don't, even, they don't recognize that only one bit changed, forget about a byte. Um, and they treat that as a brand new chunk, so effectively for that 1000 bytes, you have no reduction you have, because you cannot find duplicates. So it's it that solution works for obviously for many cases and, and many companies in the one world are, are very successful in very particular um, you know use cases but in the replication world it doesn't work very well because changes could be all over the place uh, and uh, you know if you're if you're missing out thousand two thousand uh, chunk uh, blocks that's not a good idea we don't do that we don't work in that fashion we don't do the the hashing that everybody else does in the deduplication world out there our deduplication method is very different in that it can find matches across. Uh, packets, if you will. So you change a byte, we'll figure it out. Uh, the smallest we, uh, the ch uh, check we make is eight bytes, um, and and that's purely for hardware reasons. Uh, but outside of that, you know, we, we do a much better job of finding matches. So just just a note: be careful. Talk to your uh, your your vendor and understand what they when they say deduplication. What does it really mean? What is the value that they can give you? We believe that we've done a pretty good job of of figuring out what is necessary for for replication you know, backup, migration, vMotion type traffic, and we should be able to do a better job than anybody else out there. But end of the day, you have to make the call. You have to make the decision. Look at everything. Don't believe any marketing, even me. Do a bake off, try it out, and you know, we're pretty confident we'll shine. So that's number two. So that's, you know, I talked about repeat byte suppression. I talked about the velocity V2 engine, which is again our, our core IP here at, at Infineta. And there's a third thing we do, which is compression. You know, we do GZA. So, That's the third thing in the system. So the way the, the way it works, if you kind of think visualize a pipeline, is data comes in, we carry out the repeat byte suppression. If there's any bytes that are repeating, zeros, one, what have you, right? We we remove them from the path. All of that stuff is, it gets deduped. So if you're getting very do, very good dedupe, what's going to happen is all these packets that are coming in, they're going to become very small. Now the the thing to think about is well, I have all these small packets, so the payload in the in the packet is small. But every packet still has to have these, you know, the, the TCP header, the IP header, there's an Ethernet frame header, blah, blah, blah. What we could do is we could kind of coalesce them together, right? Take, you know, let's say you're getting 80% uh, reduction. What that means is every packet, you know, is 80% is smaller. It can take a bunch of these small packets, combine them together into one, and then do a compression exercise on them. That's very beneficial. So what I just did was, A, I removed the number of, a bunch of headers from the path, which is great. And then I took all these together and I compressed them. So for compression, we just use standard GZIP. This is not, this is not something we invented. We use this off of a chip on, in our box. Uh, this is just standard, it's not, uh, nothing to do with us. Uh, the compression seems to work very well in that you know, the, the coalesce packet, we have seen you know, another 20, 25% improvement on top of the, uh, of the, uh, the deduplication ratios overall, or in the reduction ratios overall. So the way we kind of look at the problem, you gotta have all three of these things in order to do a good job. Because there will be some packet, we see that, you know what, there's no repetitive bytes in it, which is fine. There could be another packet which, you know what, we've never seen it before, which means we don't do any dedupe on it, which is fine. But then GZIF will take over. So if we only have one of these tools in the system, which is what a lot of companies do, either they only do GZIF, so the, you know, the, the storage networking guys, all they do is GZIF. Works very well for that. But there will be some cases that are probably missing. The van op guys, in many cases, they don't do GZIP, they all only do dedupe, or even the backup, you know, the, the, uh, the storage replication guys, they, all they do is, 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 is dedupe and nothing else, or storage backup guys, rather. Uh, works pretty well, but not in all cases. So if you do all three of them and in a certain order, 
you tend to gain a lot more benefit uh, out of them collectively because you know when they kind of work together they do a very very good job and that's what our system does and and the proof is in the pudding obviously uh, we've tested a lot of data uh, we've tried it with without GZIP, with without DDoP, etc etc we find that this combination seems to be the best combination for replication data and we've spent a lot of time looking at the uh, replication data so again first don't believe any marketing right you gotta you gotta try it out yourself right we encourage you to to understand the algorithms people are pitching to you understand the the, the architecture of the system uh, we're very confident that we've done a very good job in thinking through these things, solving the right problems, and 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 and, and, and building something that's very valuable. Uh, second, uh, no single solution is going to solve all problems, but this isn't. It just there's no such thing, right? So the best way to do it is you got to have a an array of of options in the system, and they all apply to the same data at all times. That's probably going to give you a better solution overall. And that's what we, 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 we've done, and we, we're very proud of it. We think it's a good solution. We're, we're, you know, the box is ready. Come on over, take a look. Uh, you, know, you guys can find me on, on, uh, on LinkedIn or Twitter, and uh, you know, happy to uh, chat and uh, set up a demo.